Hi friends, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day two of my Bambi's Summer Bash series here on YouTube. This is a week-long series in which there is a new video every day for seven days in a row, just showing some fun ways that you can document your summer memories. So if you missed day one, I will have that link down below so you can check it out. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you'll tag along for the next five projects over the next five days as well. Today's project is a super cute teeny tiny embroidery hoop mini album. I'm showing you here one that I created last year. I just love how interactive and unique and kind of rustic it is. I think that's really cute and fun. So you can see it just accordion folds onto itself and then you can tie it off. So to start, I'm taking a three inch embroidery hoop. I got mine on Amazon. I'll have those linked down below if you wanna get some yourself. And for the backing piece of my hoop, I'm taking a circle that measures three and a quarter inch. So a quarter of an inch bigger than the actual size of the hoop. My pages measure two and three quarters inch and the cover piece is going to measure three inches. I know that that is a lot of information, so I will have all of that as always listed down below in the description box so you can just follow along easier. So now I'm going to add some texture to my album by machine stitching around all the edges of all of my circles, the backing piece, the cover, and all of the pages. So I just thought that it could be fun to kind of show you guys this process. I do get asked a lot how I stitch on paper. It's very straightforward. I just use a regular stitch, a regular needle, and I just stitch. So I thought I would show you that process a little bit in case you are curious about how to do that. Now this album is held together with stitching, but don't worry if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just opt to use ribbon. You can adhere it to each page and then accordion fold them on top of one another. I personally just love the look and the texture of the stitching. So I think here I showed four pages for my album, but I actually ended up using five or six. You can use as many or as few as you want. It's totally up to you. So to bind all of my pages together, I am just running them through my sewing machine one after the next without cutting the thread in between them. And to give each page a bit more room to breathe, I am just pulling on the string a little bit to add some more room in between each page so that they are not right up next to one another. So I used some liquid glue to adhere my backing piece to my hoop. My camera didn't record that for some reason, so I was just showing you briefly there. You can use any adhesive that you like to do that. And now I am taking the back of the last page and I'm adding some double-sided tape and then I'm going to adhere that to the inside of my embroidery hoop right onto that paper in the back and then I am going to secure it into place with my scoring tool since this is a tiny little place to get into and then the next step is to add your cover so I'm just going to accordion fold all of my pages into place and then I'm taking my cover and I'm going to line it up with the page and on the back of that I'm going to add some more sticky double-sided tape and then you are just going to adhere this page to the cover and your project is all ready to embellish and add photos to and all of that fun stuff. So this project is super quick to make and really fun once you have all of the supplies. Here is a quick little flip through of my finished album. I am so excited with how this turned out and I can't wait to add some fun photos and memories to it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you tomorrow for day three of this series. Until then, take care and happy crafting. Bye.